And since we assumed office, we have been trying to trace properties of Mr. Wilmer. We have also been to the court, and the court um, ordered that he present himself after many efforts for him to be examined on his means. Remember, he created the impression that he had used all his money to pay legal and therefore had very little left. But we had reason to believe that he had the means to pay the judgment debt. So in the course of examining him, he took the matter to the Human and People's Rights Court in Arusha. We had to attend that court. We really choose of jurisdiction in that his rights had not be abused. He had been given opportunity at all times to defend himself either in the trials leading up to the judgment or even his own other applications that he made with, with in an attempt to forestall the execution of the matter. The court took the position that he has jurisdiction, so we have to go for the hearings which took place. That matter has been adjourned to October for a ruling. Again, the Supreme Court here, which is hearing the matter, notwithstanding the matter at the Human Rights Court, because it took the position that it had the power and authority as the Supreme Court of this country to go on to investigate his means. However, the same judge also was involved in the investigation of the chairperson, the former chairperson of the Electoral Commission and her deputies. So the matter was in abeyance. It has since been to October because the courts are on recess. It is our expectation that come October we will go back and continue the examination of Mr. Wilmer as to his means because the impression is that he has got money to pay the undertakings that he himself had offered. First of all, it is not about politics. It's about justice. I don't understand what is meant by the huge political I think it's about justice. The court has made a decision that he is liable to pay certain money that belong to the state. If he's resisting, natural justice requires that he be heard, which is what is going on. I can only say that we are not relenting in our efforts to receive the money for the state. And I am hopeful that, as we say in Akan, the time will come. Even legal hurdles have their end.